In this video, we're going to look at a mixture problem, where we have to decide how much of each solution to use to get the appropriate final solution. We have a chemist who has 70 milliliters of a 50% methane solution. She wants to know how much of an 80% solution she must add, so that the final solution is 60% methane. To organize our information in a table, we're going to need for these mixture problems an extra row in our tic-tac-toe our table. We'll label our columns the amount, the part, and the total. For the first solution, she's got 70 milliliters of a 50% methane solution. The amount is 70, and the percent is 0.5, changing the percent to a decimal. She wants to know how much of an 80% solution she must add. We don't know the amount, we'll call it x, but we do know it's 80%. So that the final solution is 60% methane. At the end, we want to end up with 60%. A quick check I always do once I fill in my parts is the part of the final solution must be somewhere between the other two. 0.6 is between 0.5 and 0.8, so I'm ok. We now need to fill in all the remaining cells of this table. To calculate totals, we multiply amount times part. 70 times 0.5 is 35. x times 0.8 is 0.8x. We don't know the amount we need to multiply by in the last row. If we don't know the amount, we'll add the two amounts above it together, 70 plus x, and put that in parentheses so we can distribute the 0.6 through. 0.6 times 70 is 42, plus 0.6x. Remember, that bottom row is a total, and so the last column can become an equation we can use to solve the problem. As there is only one variable, we only need this one equation from the last column. 35, from the original solution, is methane, plus 0.8 of what we add is methane, is going to equal the methane we want at 42, plus 0.6x. This gives us an equation we should know exactly how to solve. Get the variable on the same side by subtracting 0.6x. 35 plus 0.2x is equal to 42. Subtract 35 from both sides, and we get 0.2x equals 7. Divide both sides by 0.2, and x is going to equal 35. She needs to add 35 milliliters of that 80% solution, and she'll end up with a 60% final solution. We found this by organizing the amounts and the parts, and multiplying them to get a total. Since we were missing the um, total amount, we added together the cells above it to get the cell at the bottom. The last column, then, was able to give us an equation which we could use to solve for our variable.